Hello everybody, I am Chef Spencer. This is my wife, Emily. Hello. And today we're gonna to be making one of our favorite uh, braised beet and burrata salads. Mm, let's get started. All right. So right. first things first, we're gonna set the oven to 375 to preheat. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna want a Le Creuset or an oven safe pan to braise the, uh, the beets in. Mm -hmm. So I filled the pan about half halfway with water and we're gonna take our beets. So we're gonna put these in the, the pot. We're gonna wanna make sure it's uh, covered all the way with water. We're gonna do a splash of red wine vinegar right here. You can do apple cider vinegar too, just like, just. What does that do? So this is gonna, this is gonna help brighten up the, uh, the beets. It's also gonna add a little flavor, a little acidity. So, and if you want to hand me a sprig of rosemary in time, we're going to put that in the water as well. You can just throw that in there. We're going to do, we're going to do a little cracked pepper in there. And also a little bit of salt. Is that enough time? Yeah, that's perfect. And. Looks pretty. Yeah. So we're going to put a lid on this bad boy and it is going to go in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Usually the smaller beets take about 45 minutes, the larger beets take about an hour. But uh, you'll know when they're done once you stick a fork in them and it slides out nice and easily. Fork tender. If you want to oh. open that oven for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. All right, see those in 45 minutes. 45 minutes. All right, the timer just went off for the beets, so I'm going to check these. Um, be careful when you're opening the lid so you don't Get a steam burn, those suck. Um, we're just gonna need a fork and we're gonna go in and if it slides right off, then they should be perfect. Um, yeah. These, these are good. All right. Mm, smell good. So we'll just remove all the beets. let these slightly cool because we're gonna go straight in and peel them while they're uh, while they're a little nice and warm if you peel them when they're too cold the skin's gonna it's gonna be a little more difficult so a little hotter the skin will come right off so we're gonna take your your warm beet and we're gonna take a towel you can use a paper towel as well but just put it in here and then just start peeling the skin back and it should be coming off really nice and easy that's okay if there's a little skin left on the beet because you can just cut it off with a knife. But yeah, the skin's coming off nice and easy. It's a good trick. Yeah. Um, working at Airbnb and Google, we would do like probably 40 pound bags of beets at one time cooked in a 600 pan. And then you'd have, You'd have a towel at the end of the day and it would just be covered in like red beet juice. <laughs> so. so now we are going to start building the salad. Okay, great. So beets are cooked. Beets are cooked and, and peeled. peeled. Let's cut them up. All right, perfect. And when you're peeling the beets, there might be a little bit of skin left on and you can just like gently remove that just with the sharp end of the knife. But we're going to cut the ends off and these are candy cane beets and these beets are um, golden beets yeah so these are a little bit sweeter than regular beets right yep. yep and then just extra pretty with that color we got these up at um foothill roots up in meadow vista Beautiful. we'll just take these tops and throw it away And then I like to just slice all the beets in half. And then we're going to do like half moon slices for the salad. Just keep everything nice and uniform and pretty. So look at the color of these. These are the candy cane beets. So pretty. So they have that little stripe. Yep. Pretty. Sweet. Perfect for the holidays. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and then we'll do the golden beets next. And then the braising liquid, if you want to add um, 
a little bit of spice. You can add some chili flakes and that'll heat it up a little bit. Into the beets as you're cooking. Yep. But we're just going to keep these pretty. Sweet. Now that our beets are cut, we can put those to the side. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to prep our fennel. So this has been cleaned and washed. And I love to uh, save the, the fennel fronds, the tops. These, these add really nice to a salad or they're really good for garnishes. So perfect. Nice. And we'll save those for later. But you can either uh, prep these with a mandolin, which I got on Amazon. You can find these. These are nice to have. But if you don't have a mandolin, you can just use your knife. But since we have this here, we're going to... just makes it a little extra thin, right? Yep. More shaved. And so what we'll want to do is we'll just start slicing. Careful of your fingers. Yep. <laughs> So just uniform. get it all nice and uniform, super small for the salad. So we'll do one more. And what I like to do with the fennel after it's shaved, I like to put it in ice water and that'll brighten it up, kind of like lively up the the crispness of it, mm -hmm. and it'll also just keep it nice and fresh. Because if you just left it sitting out, it would kind of oxidize. Like an exactly. Apple, right? Yep. You want to show how to cut that with the regular knife if people don't yeah. have a mandolin at home? You can actually take that mandolin. Right. So if you don't have a mandolin, we just want to cut it as as thin as you possibly can. The thinner, the better for the salad. Okay. Now I have some ice water over here that I'm gonna put the fennel in. It's going to, like I said, it's gonna just keep it nice and fresh. And we'll let that sit for just a little bit. Just while you assemble the stuff. Yep. You could also prep this ahead of time, right? So you could just keep it in the fridge if you wanted to, just in an ice water bath. Exactly. Then the next thing is we're going to take a few of our, our radishes. These are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use the mandolin yeah. as well. So I'll just take about two or three of these. These are nice Easter egg radishes. You can take those. And these have been washed as well. So I'm just going to take off the top and the stem. Clean it up nice. Yeah, I love that color. It's perfect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. just. <laughs> All right, same thing. And you can actually just hand me the, the ice water for this. Okay. Same thing with the, the radishes. They will just stay a lot fresher and crisper if you uh, just, after you shaved, if you just put this into the water. But yeah, we're just going to do this. It makes the edges curl too, so they look even prettier as they're plated. Do a little thicker. But mm -hmm. uh, yes. All right, now that we have our Easter egg radishes, I like to incorporate one more radish in here, and this is a watermelon radish. Oh, these are the yeah, these are very... You can see that rainbow kind of color. These are, these are from Hillview Farms as well. These are beautiful. So we don't need all that, but I'll hand you that. Perfect. These make a great snack too. If you just shave them thin like that. Yeah. Delicious. Sweet. Great. So now everything's prepped out so you can start assembling the salad. So over here, we're just going to do it on a tray. Um, so you'll start with a bed of arugula. Um, this arugula we got at the Auburn Farmer's Market. Um, I already pre-washed it, so we're good 
to go. It's from um, Natural Trading Co. based out of Newcastle. Uh, so if there's anything that's really too thick of a um, stem, kind of pull that off so it's a little easier to eat. Makes it a little more like a um, baby arugula. Pull those. So now we have our bed of arugula here. Um, so you'll go ahead and put the burrata cheese on it. Um, burrata is, you explained it a little bit. Yeah, burrata um, is like a creamy mozzarella. The, the way they make it is they stretch the mozzarella and then they fill it up with like cream and crescenza cheese, which is super creamy. And then they kind of balloon it off and then it's sitting in a bath of like really creamy milk. But yes, it's really, really delicious. It really kind of good. helps make the salad kind of acts as almost like a dressing because it has so much cream on the inside. Like it really helps as you're kind of mixing it around. Um, so then we're going to grab the rest of our veggies and we're just kind of, kind of arrange them in a pretty way here. So it's all kind of mixed in. We can do some of this. I like to kind of tuck it under so that it's not really covering up the burrata. So we're going to add in our fennel. Kind of sprinkle that over and just have fun with this. Make it look beautiful. It doesn't yeah. have to be perfect. It's just yeah. no perfect nice and rustic. To it. It's true. All right. That's probably about enough arugula or uh, fennel. Mm -hmm. That piece. Add in the rest of the beets. These are the candy cane beets and golden beets. They're so pretty. Nice amount of color. It looks beautiful. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And again with this salad, um, this is definitely good for the winter, but if it we're doing a summer salad, we would do like mm -hmm. roasted cherry tomatoes on the, a bed of arugula with shaved fennel with burrata. That's really delicious as well. Mm -hmm. Even roast, on top. Yeah. That's one of our even roasted mushrooms. I mean, pretty much whatever you put burrata with, it's going to be delicious. So. <laughs> we think so. Yeah. Okay. And that's probably about good. We've got all our beets on there. So pretty, and then we're going to start to add in the watermelon radish. Um, just kind of tuck those all around. Yummy. Yeah. Just a very colorful plate of deliciousness. <laughs> sure is. So we have the watermelon radish, and then what did you say, Easter egg radish? Easter egg radish, yep. So these, we did a little more on the thin side. These are a little thicker, so they are great kind of on their own. These, so you can kind of like put them together on the plate. Again, Very nice. Tucking it in. Yeah. And also, um, with this dish, we are going to be pairing it with a Grenache Blanca, which yes. is this wonderful wine oh, from Pizza. Yeah, we are actually filming at Pizza today. They are lovely enough to lend us their kitchen and gave us, gave us some great recommendations for wines. Okay, I think that's good. What do you think? I think a little olive oil, maybe some picked dill on top. Yep, so we'll get the lemon, so we'll do half a lemon, and kind of scoop this over. Here, and I'm just going to pick some nice dill. nice and easy because you don't actually have to make a vinaigrette for it. We're just going to kind of put a drizzle of olive oil on top. Beautiful. Good. That's perfect. Cool. Just a little dill all over. Salt on top, and then 
we'll go ahead and do our squeeze of lemon. All right. So that's just halved. You could do this with your hand, where I like to use press like this. Very nice. And do the whole thing in half. And there we go. It's complete. So that is our um, burrata and braised beet salad. And we are going to pair this salad with a Grenache Blanca from Pizza. Mm -hmm. It's a delicious pairing for a delicious salad. Oh, yes. Perfect. Enjoy. Thanks so much. Again, we are Silver Spork Events and Catering. Um, you can find us on Instagram at Silver Spork Events. Um, also, our website is um, silversporkevents.com. And we're on Facebook as well. Cool. well thank, thank you, you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.